Hello and welcome to the U.S. Red Bull Solo Q Tournament. We're so glad that you're with us. In this special episode, we're going to break down and highlight our qualifying winners, their strategies, play styles, and their champion picks. With well, Tigris, take it away. Thanks, Dash. This one-of-a-kind tournament allows amateur players to square off against one another 1v1 style top lane of Summoner's Rift. Here, we're going to showcase the road to the championships. Four players from the leaderboard qualifiers will join Darkwings, Twilly, CP Freeze, and Mark's Boy, our four tournament qualifiers, on November 15th. Let's take a closer look at the road to victory, starting with the very first qualifier win. The winner of the first tournament was Darkwings, the highest ranking qualifier. They currently sit at rank 36 on the NA ladder. With mastery over many champions and mechanics to back them up, they dominated their opponents with Lucian and Azir. While playing these high damage champions, Darkwing's true power came in their defense. Their ability to use precise movement to prevent damage while setting up their own is what led to such overwhelming victories even in the grand finals. On a champion not many people dared to pick in this tournament, Azir, they were staring down the incredible kill potential of Renekton. But as Renekton goes on the attack, Darkwings moves with perfect precision, avoiding the attack by inches and dishing out a ton of damage as their opponent retreats. Later in the game, they display their insane defensive skills again with an instant ult followed by some great kiting to clinch their victory. While offense wins games, Darkwings is here to prove that defense wins championships. Our most exciting contender comes from qualifier number two, Twilly. While this tournament has multiple win conditions, Twilly's only interested in one, and that's kills. With champions like Yasuo, Akali, and Renekton, Twilly eviscerated their opponents all throughout the tournament. Even with the presence of safe farm champions like Heimerdinger, Caitlyn, and Ezreal, Twilly used their cunning to cut them all down to size. After being stalled out and outfarmed by Ezreal in the Grand Finals, Twilly fakes a recall at precisely 6.30. This will leave Ezreal pushing the lane for just long enough for the game to reach the seven minute mark, sudden death. At exactly 6.55, Twilly goes on the attack, ulting Ezreal and following with a perfect Akali combo. As they both go under the turret, Twilly drops to nearly single digit health, waiting for one final cue to drop Ezreal low enough to the second ult to kill. Will the other contenders be able to stay alive versus the killing machine that is Twilly? Only time will tell. Our contender from the third qualifier is the mechanical marksman, CP Freeze. With Callista and Lucian as their main picks, CP Freeze's roster was not lacking in any firepower. But CP Freeze's specialty lies in their ability to turn the damage up to 11. Their qualifier games didn't even seem fair with the amount of damage their picks put out, often killing their opponents before being close to a CS victory. In the winner's finals, we can see CP Freeze turning a situation around in an instant. In the blink of an eye, being caught in a Nico's vine turns into a ridiculous amount of damage from an incredible range. Later in the game, you can see how well they know their damage and trust their mechanics. After being caught in another Nico bind, they follow her deep under the turret only to somehow deal three times as much damage as the tower shot he took. Finally, to clinch their victory, you can see them outputting so much damage that Nico doesn't even think to barrier. With that amount of damage coming out of such mobile champions, is there anyone that can hope to stand up to CP Freeze? Our final contender from the most recent qualifier was Mark's Boy. Staying true to their name, they're the second Marksman main to qualify, playing Draven, Lucian, Caitlyn, and even some Cassiopeia. But while not as mechanically intense as CP Freeze, their Marksman knowledge and near-perfect CSing allowed them to do what no other player had done in this tournament, completely neutralize Lucian. Lucian's most prevalent counter up until this point was a ban before the game even started. But in the winner's finals, Mark's boy made it look like child's play. With fantastic spacing and axe catching, Mark's boy made their opponent look silly as they transitioned from farming to attacking at a moment's notice. This win was so dominating, they proxy farmed for their 100 CS and ended the game with nine and a half CS per minute, an unheard of number in a 1v1 tournament. Will their CSing allow them to keep up with the other contenders in the tournament? There's only one way to find out. As you can see, we've got some formidable talent and skill here, and this championship will certainly be an epic one. Join us November 15th for the U.S. Red Bull Solo Q Championship. Who will come out on top? Will it be Darkwings, Twilly, CP Freeze, or Mark's Boy, or will it be one of our four leaderboard qualifiers? We will catch you then for all of the action.
Follow at Red Bull Gaming on Twitter for the latest news. Tune in to twitch.tv forward slash Red Bull Sunday, November 15th for the Red Bull Solo Queue US Championships.